Hello everyone, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. I'm Janine and I'm Laura. And we are here at the Stormville Flea Market in Stormville, New York. It is so pretty. I'm gonna put a clip right here of how pretty it is this early morning in upstate New York. So we're here hopefully to find some vintage Christmas or vintage Halloween, even though we're already in November, but um, you know, you never know what the flea markets are going to have. So uh, it's let's go. It's been a while since we've been here, right? Yeah. A few years. Has. Yeah. It's been a while. So let's head on to the flea market. It's a little early for mac and cheese, Laura. Do you oh, want? No, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> There's blue molds, Janine. Huh? Big Christmas blue molds. Christmas. Wow, look at all these blue molds, guys. They're big boys. Oh, Probably nice wouldn't get any. Probably out of our price range and just too big. Have. We like have a lot of these, yeah. <laughs> How much on your putts? Uh, they're all different. They kind of oh. go from three to eight dollars, ten dollars. Okay. Maybe. Thank you. I think the lighter one might be. Mm-hmm. Uh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, you gotta wait. Next spot for Christmas, so cute. How much is it? 22. Oh, he's wet. Little knee huggers here. 11 each. It's a lot of stuff here. How much on hymns? There's so much Christmas. Bundle all the knee huggers. Get them all. <laughs> Six dollars for them. Cute. I think we might have to get some knee huggers. Oh, we can make a big pile and say maybe. Depends. Don't know prices. Gonna ask about these guys in there. Might be a little pricey, but we'll see if we can maybe make a deal. Some great things here. Look at these guys. That's so cute, Jenny. So you. I know. I love these too. How cute. Look at this one. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How cute is that? Is it marked on the back? No. No prices. So cute. Hmm. Love this too. Wow. 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 Okay. Okay, so I'm looking at all the pots. They're about four to ten dollars each, which is a fantastic price. So I think I'm gonna get a handful of them. Um good colors really nice condition for the most part I love the so glittery nice top to yeah. i know the colors though the, the green and the gold i know it's so good Like 80 bucks what? Worth of game. Any toys? Uh, I'm gonna go on the side. Okay. Janine's very into this clock. I see why. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh man. Maybe Santa will bring it for you for Christmas. I like that. Um, I want to look. I saw something yeah, poking out over there. Oh, I see. Very quickly. I don't think it's gonna be anything. But it caught my eye. Yeah just caught my eye but nothing too crazy okay let's keep going Christmas <laughs> so this is Christmas these are cute I love the little handmade things little felt guys yeah, yeah. love them they are cute little, little flocked 
Yeah, he's, he's cute. He is different. Yep. Ooh, look at these fun putts in here. Huh. I've never really seen ones like this. Look how colorful they are. Wow. Little check. How cute is that? That's pretty cute. Look, Janina, at these pots. They're so interesting. Wow. Have you ever seen pots like this? Um, in those colors? Not often, no. Right? Maybe like one or two. Wow. Those are so cool. Yeah. Some really fun kitchenware here. It's a bank. It's a bank? Yeah. That's cool. I also like that chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Got a giant. Godzilla made in Hong Kong, and then look at all these. How that. cool! Say hi to your mom and this is that like, is so this cool. Is like a, a Keith, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, he's really cool. Yeah. And all these monsters. All these guys. Yeah. These um, are probably the kits. Mm. Right. They could build. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So cool. He's got missing his foot. <laughs> so cool. The um, what's yep. this guy's name? Creature. The creature from the lagoon. Very cool. It might have had a top. Yeah. Janine found oh, yeah. this like really cool Santa. Um, oh, yeah, it lights it. up. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it was sitting here. It was just, yeah. yeah, and it like um, it lights up and it moves and it's definitely from like the 60s. It is so cool. Oh, I also found these little guys, which are um, two dollars each. But look at these ornaments. They're beautiful. Wow. Oh, yeah, I'll be able to see it. Look at these um vintage books, Janine. This was your first baby Monsters. book, remember? Remember your first baby book? What are you <laughs> <laughs> remember your mother used to read this to you? The first book of birds? Snoopy. She's ignoring me. Yeah, Monsters from the Vault, that's cool. Um, some toys over there. There's lots toys, of toys. toys. Just, it's hard because it's like, I want them. <laughs> <laughs> the book of riddles? Look. Oh wow. Complete set, $25. That's really cool. That could be a good deal too. Could be a good deal. I just don't know. She doesn't know. Here's another one, $25. Interesting. Very cool. Lots of toys. Little Cabbage Patch Kids. My Cabbage Patch Kids brag bag. Oh, is this like Scooby Doo? Yeah, I think so. No, DC. Oh. Oh, I know you're talking about that. Oh, Dracula things. I've been on the market for some. Santa doll time, Santa doll time, Santa doll time, Santa doll time. Look at how cute he is. Yeah, he's <gasps> adorable. Is he a Rushton? He has the Rushton face, doesn't he? Yeah. But he's a big one. Are they this big? I didn't think they were this oh. big. Oh, I'm gonna need to know how much he is. I actually, she looks, he looks bigger. Gotta find out how much he is. So Santa doll was? Santa doll, the one you're holding? Yep. Santa doll. Santa doll. He was 45. I think it's a great price. Which I think it's a great price. He does have this issue right here, but a little black paint maybe. And then right as we turn the corner. Janine. Janine, Janine spotted and he was like 25 so I, I didn't mean to talk about myself in third person <laughs> <laughs> I mean good prices here today I wasn't expecting there to be such good stuff so um, there is an ATM here which we're hoping to not resort to but it's only nine o'clock okay guys a little bit of an intermission we dropped off Santa's in the car we're gonna head back in uh, look for some toys Janine yeah, there's a lot of toys. I'm getting a little overwhelmed, but I think we could find something fun for the sale. I think so, and I feel like now we can take our time since we've secured the Santas. So let's go back in. Buddy Bear's Mask from Moss Brow. Smart Little Mouse. Outdoor Fun. Oh. Telling Time. <laughs> Good Time Stories, Little Red Riding Hood. Like a lot of books here. 
Very cute. Get this one on. <laughs> the police. Got some 90s toys. Lion King. I got $10 for the set. Oh. Yeah, this is fun. Uh, some fun things here. Three for five, two hours each. The um, Mercury candles are nice. And I do like these angels. I think they're $10 each. Mm. Cute, right? Mm hmm. There's a little guy in there. You know, there was a set over there, and I thought they were glass, but they were plastic. <laughs> There's a picture set for 75, which I'm heavily considering. And then look at all these little mini ones. Oh no. <laughs> Good for her. Oh man, this is bad. <laughs> My pajama bag. Look at that. Imagine. Put your pajamas in there. Wild. From uh, Burger King. Oh, cool. 95? 85. 85, I meant. Yep. Very cool. Right? Janine finds herself at a pile of trading cards. I, I'm just like finding myself everywhere. She's finding herself everywhere. Okay. Look, Janine, something cool is going on. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is oh, from... a little dinosaur for you. Look, he looks like you. Show the face. It looks like you. Yeah, it looks just like you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these little things. How exciting. I really enjoyed this from Nemo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another dinosaur for you. Both of the cutest things to ever exist. Unfortunately, I have to get these. There's like no negotiating because they're the cutest thing. They're made in Hong Kong. These little vintage rubber animals. How adorable is that? I'm so excited. Eight dollars for how many? One, two, three, four, five of them. So I know you guys are wondering, did we bring enough cash to the flea market? And the answer is yes. So I Almost <laughs> no. <laughs> Almost no. We took out $200 and I think we're right under it, 180 or something. But we got some really fun stuff that we're going to show you guys. And also wanted to say hello to Pete for saying hi yes, to us at the hi, flea market. Was so sweet. He was so sweet, guys. Um, say hi to Pete in the comments. Yeah, just want to say hi to Pete and thanks for saying hi to us. We always love when people stop us and say hi and show us their collection, which Pete did. Great collection. Let's dive into the haul. He's got some pretty purple eyeshadow that I didn't notice until just now. <laughs> he sure does. So we had to pick up this Rushton doll for $45, which is a steal. And yes, this is a Rushton doll. Um, Janine and I thought about it for a second and we we're like, wait, did we check his uh, under his little chin? And under his chin, under it's hard to chin. see, but he is marked Rushton. So this was a great pickup, I think. His boot does have some wear to it, but I might touch that up. I think we're gonna keep him for a little bit at least. This is our first Rushton doll in the collection, so very exciting. He's one of the bigger ones too. Yeah, he's, he's let me step back. He's a big boy. Look at that. It's like half your size. <laughs> <laughs> this blow mold I've wanted for years, guys. It is a tabletop Santa and we paid $30 for him, which I think is a pretty good deal when you don't have to get it shipped from eBay. Um, these go for about $50 on eBay plus shipping. And it's made by an interesting company. It's called Dapol, D-A-P-O-L. Mm -hmm. Definitely a rare blue mold and excited to add it to the collection. So this tray is filled with little things from a number of different vendors. Um, we probably paid between $2 and maybe $5 per item, depending on what they were. Just some really cute Christmas things. I find that at flea markets, and I don't know if you agree, Janine, but the little things like this, mm -hmm. um, corsages and putts like these are some of the things that you can really uh, get a good deal on still. Yeah, I do agree. 
and there there were a few vendors they were definitely there to make a deal which was really nice and we were able to negotiate which was lovely yeah like this little angel for five dollars she has a few flaws but i thought she was so cool i absolutely love this little mouse like is that not <laughs> the cutest thing and some of these things guys i don't know if we mentioned it in the video yet are going to be available during our whatnot sale this thursday at 7 p.m eastern standard we have a huge sale and believe it or not this is only the second of three vintage christmas sales we're doing this season mm -hmm. so there's going to be even more after this sale but you're not going to want to miss this one it's this thursday so i think this little mouse might be available yeah i want to show i think so but i want to show you guys maybe one of my favorite pickups from the day these little snow babies and i got these for a couple of bucks each but they're worth like 30 dollars each people love these i can see why they're absolutely adorable i really love this one yeah it's so different i've never seen one with like the striped body striped candy cane body made in japan sort of a rubbery body but together they're just so sweet i love them also picked up a cute little assortment of elves over here for you know a few bucks here and there he might have been like 10 or so but still really good deals for these little guys little angel more corsages janine picked up this really funny snowman <laughs> how funny is he i just love these little things we got a little rosbro candy container can't beat it yeah so lots of fun things in this try Oh, and also, look at this beautiful corsage. That's so pretty in the light. So pretty. I got this um, in a bundle deal with some other stuff I'll show you guys. But even this, oh my goodness, I would pay like $20 to $25 for this because it's so beautiful. Um, in the light, it shines, and it's in great condition. Also, Laura. Yes. In that, in that like money that we spent, that's including the pickles you bought. Oh, yeah, I got a <laughs> I got a little pint of hot and spicy pickles, which were delicious, and I already ate all of them. <laughs> well, it's been a few days. Six dollars well spent. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you guys in that uh, bundle deal that I had with the corsage. I also picked up a few other things. I got all these mini Santa mugs. There's um, I got six in total. I think I pulled one out for the sale. Really cute. I especially love this style. These are made in Japan um, from the 1950s and 60s. So cute and sweet i also got this uh, mrs claus uh, she is a salt and pepper shaker but there was no mister she's made by lufton so it's a really good set so this is something i'll probably keep for my collection until i find mr santa claus himself and then i can complete that salt and pepper shaker set and the last thing in that bundle set which i don't think i even mentioned i got all that stuff uh together for 20 dollars, so definitely a steal um, the last two things from that were these two 1964 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer coloring books. I absolutely love the graphics. This one in particular is Flopped, which is amazing. Wow. 59 cents originally. Look at that back That's portrait so cool. and graphics. And then this one is really amazing as well. 10 cents. 10 cents originally. Graphics on front and back. So for 20 bucks to get this and the Santa mugs and the corsage, a steal for sure for a dollar i don't know why she sold it to me for a dollar but this amazing candy container that pops up is it candy or cards or cards maybe i thought it was maybe a candy container oh yeah it's kind of shallow not shallow but it's kind of it's an odd shape for cards i guess but it does have an address book oh maybe you're, it must be cards it does have like noticeable damage but not too bad when he's sitting on a shelf mm -hmm. for a dollar i could it not buy him <laughs> yeah right you guys heard me going like crazy over these in the video these vintage made in hong kong like little plastic bath toys so i'm gonna set them up in our bathroom and show you guys <laughs> right here um i just couldn't resist they're the cutest things i've ever seen okay i picked up a few toys because if you don't know i'm having a toy sale like a vintage what? retro toy sale uh primarily 80s and 90s but there might be some older some newer slipped in there um, you'll have to see, but that's going to be after we have these next two Christmas sales over on Whatnot. So if you haven't um, gone to Whatnot, you don't know what it is, there's a link in our description um, and you can just head on over, find out what it's like. It's a lot of fun. But I did get this uh, Ninja Turtle. His arm fell off, but it can snap right back on. Um, I am not well versed in which turtles. Uh, I feel like this is rough. Raphael? Um, not 100% sure, but uh, I thought he was really cool. He came with his gun. I just gotta get his little hand back on. A little hair dryer. 
Should do the trick? Yeah, warm them up, pop it back on. It'll be good. I got a whole bag. Well, there were four, so I wouldn't say a whole bag. Of Z-Bots. I have two of this kind. Cool. And then I have, this one's pretty cool. This one. And I have this one, which I actually have in my own personal collection. They're a little dirty, so I'm going to clean them up. And then I'm going to add them to the sale because uh, they're cool. They're fun. They're yeah, cool. They're fun. So sometimes I find a toy that like just speaks to me and I, I want it. And I don't know what it is. Like, I don't really know what it's from or... Um, anything like that but this happened to be a character from I guess Robocop Birdman I don't know I just thought it was cool um this is a little before my time so I'm not well versed in it but I thought he was a cool figure and I bought him for my own collection and then I looked him up and he's actually worth a little bit more than I paid so I was really happy about that so I feel like you know got a good bargain there yeah how much is he worth I think he is worth between six and twelve dollars. Okay, not bad. He's paid. Yeah, what, I paid is it three. three. Nice. Yeah, and actually, I did when I bundled. I did pay like a dollar or two less than than asking. So maybe I paid two fifty. Nice. <laughs> I also got some other little things, little Janine things that I don't understand. Oh, they're like uh, well, they're like uh, Gundam uh, knockoff figures. I don't understand but cool uh, yeah. 80s oh. um yes so fun little things they just remind me of easter why the colors oh yeah i have a little collection of like these so thanks yeah all right guys we hope you enjoyed coming to the flea market with us that was that was different for us right Jenny? yeah i had a lot of fun yeah we had a ton of fun let us know in the comments below guys if you enjoyed if you want to see more flea market content if you want to see us going out to i don't know yard sales um we are approaching winter so we might be back at the thrift stores a little bit more but that's never a problem for us no don't forget also thursday we are having our whatnot sale the link is in our bio make sure to check it out as always Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.